How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Welcome back to another edition of Eats with Fifi. Guess what we got on me today? Pig ears. Y'all see that? Uh-oh. That's hot. So, yeah, I think I finally, finally figured out how I'm going to cook these, how to cook these uh, pig ears for the tender. So, let me tell you what I got to mean today. Oh, how you doing? How was your day? How you feeling? Well, I hope you guys had a good day. Um, I hope you're blessed. I've got some Sweet Georgia Browns mac and cheese. I've got some Sweet Georgia Browns uh, cabbage and dressing. Okay? And... I made the pig ears myself. Let's get some of that on there. That's get some of that cranberry sauce. Who likes a little dressing with your cranberry sauce? I like a little dressing with my cranberry sauce. Because I like to eat a lot of it. Alright. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so Let's get into it, y'all. I haven't been doing much of nothing today, y'all. I had a, a little bit of a long weekend. Because so I had to, uh, left work Friday so that I could drive to Oklahoma. No, left work early Thursday so I could drive to Oklahoma Friday and sign my paperwork for the land. And then I, um, I had double back Friday, get back to Dallas so I can work a 12-hour night shift. But before them... I had to cater. Well, my coworkers wanted to cater the dinner for our um, group. So, I came back. When I got home, on my way home, I went to Walmart. And I went to Walmart and Kroger's and picked up some um, supply food for um, to make some jerk uh, chicken uh, tacos and to make some it's cilantro and tomatilla um, shrimp. So, and then I made a cilantro lime rice. I also made some um, Puerto Rican style beans. Came out pretty good. I guess they gonna force me into be a caterer. Okay. Oh, but I did it because I appreciate my um, this particular supervisor. I was hyping me up. So I said, you know what? Let me try it because you never know. What am I coming to? It might be Fifi's catering event. You never know. So, <clears throat> but they really, really liked it. I, I told them to judge me harshly. And you know what? I had all good reviews. All good reviews. So. So the next Friday I work, we're going to do some birria tacos. So what are we going to do? We're gonna do some birria tacos. But I told them that I'm gonna have to bring my Instapot to work because it's hard to. Me personally, I don't want no um, reheated birria tacos. But this is me. So I'm bring my um, hot pot and my griddle. And we're gonna cook it at work. Okay, I'll probably get some of this. That father do. Let's see how we did, y'all. Okay, fork tender. Plastic fork tender too. So currently, y'all, some of my goals are. Build, some, build a house on my land. And when I go back to Oklahoma, I want to start up a um, taco truck, a taco trailer. So, I'm still debating, should I do a GoFundMe? I don't know. What y'all think? I'm looking to the prices of uh, 
because this has been a at first I was going to do it a five year plan but now I'm, I'm looking at like less than two years so that's a lot that's a lot yeah, really good y'all really really good so y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think because I think if I want to do the trailer I'm going to be looking at least at minimum 25,000 get everything all set up a lot it's a lot but you know what you gotta do what you gotta do so how was you want you tell me about y'all's day oh y'all just have a hot flash mm -mm. Ooh. hot flash big time mm. excuse me mm. Sweet Joe the Brown food is so good, but it ain't something you should be eating every day. How about I go through there to get my food? One of the guys that's doing the serving, he stepped back and picked up this plate, and I'm sitting here looking, right? Because you don't know. Nothing. So I'm looking at him picking up this plate, and I'm like, that ain't on the menu. Maybe he ain't had the cooks back there cook him some uh, baked fish over rice with some type of gravy. Mm. I know you lying. It sure look good. And that's what he is, Dossie. They know me pretty well up there. Well, tell, ask me, uh, tell, ask me. It look good, don't it? Yeah, it sure do. I'm over mad. Mmm. Mmm. Hot. Too hot. But yeah, it sure did look good. Sure did. Pretty good. Pretty good. Just eating some collagen, y'all. That's it. But yeah, what y'all y'all let me know what y'all think. Feast stars tacos. Maybe I could go live. I'm doing the cooking process. Serving folks, that would be pretty cool, huh? Sure could. Mm -hmm. Sure could. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I was there less than 24 hours, and then it was a little depressing. But you know what? I realized they need somebody to bring some spunk up in there, some different things. I went to this, uh restaurant that I passed a million times. It's called Florence. And um, I went to get that. I got some fried, it's some sweet potato fried, sweet potato dip fried chicken. Mm -mm. That was the day before chicken. Not that much. That was the day before the chicken. I know everybody trying to save money. But I ain't gonna be able to do that again. So I'm gonna have to develop my own sweet potato dip fried chicken. Because this restaurant was on Triple D. Um, it was on Triple D, and that's how I found out about it. Which I should have known about it. Should have known about it, but I did. 
It's a soul food restaurant. Yep. All right, y'all. Y'all let me know in the comment section. We got to get this uh, food trailer truck, taco truck thing. We got to get it on the road. We got to get it live and popping. Twenty four. This is January, so no later than 2023. Okay? If not sooner. We got to work this out. Y'all, don't forget to be blessed. Stay blessed and be a blessing to somebody else. And don't forget to wear your mask, wash your hands, and wash your ass. Another important thing, I think they're getting ready to ban um, travel to the United States from foreigners for a while until we get this uh, COVID under control. This is the current latest news. Um, because the new strains have already popped up. It's in 20 of, 20 of 50 states right now. So, you guys, be careful. We're not through this um, height of this pandemic yet. But we're going to get there because we're going to wear our masks, wash our hands, and wash our ass, okay? So until next time, y'all, peace.